Hey everybody, Ed Homo at Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel. I hope everyone's doing well today. A little bit of a different configuration today. Today we're gonna to talk about um, the Vivor Ultrasonic 6 liter cleaner. Now Vivor has sponsoring this video. In exchange for the video, they provided me with this unit. It is a six liter ultrasonic cleaner. It uses a 40,000 Hertz uh, cleaning frequency and it has three 180 watt transducers. So this is a parts cleaner, ultrasonic cleaner before it is a record cleaner. So the, uh, yeah, and you'll see how it goes together. But this obviously can clean all sorts of things, jewelry and small components and just all kinds of stuff. Um, and it was doing that before it was a record cleaner. So it is made out of 304 stainless. It's really well constructed. Um, one of the things, and I'll show you real quick, this is the bracket and the motor, everything for the cleaner. It's just two parts, motor and then the bracket, and it all goes together with thumb screws. But one thing they did show is on the, oh, I turned it on. On the, in the quick start instructions, they show mounting the, the record cleaner bracket on the front by the display. And I found there's this beautiful seam in the back. And when you mount the record cleaner, it helps you line up the thumb screw so that it is centered and your records wouldn't scrape on either end of the tank. So it's that simple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fill it full of a cleaner solution. I'm gonna mount a couple records up. We're gonna clean and see how it does. I've got some really old stuff that we're gonna, gonna use. Cut away, reconfigure. We're gonna come back and clean some records. Real quick, I thought I'd show you really quick how to mount a record. I'll mount a, several of them. It will hold up to eight uh, LPs. So you, the discs that come with it fit over the spindle, and then you take the record, and this is one of my beautiful Tony Bennett records from the 60s, and you mount the record on the spindle, and then you would take another disc and mount it there, and then it'll keep the label from getting wet. I don't know if you can see that. And then you would continue to stack record Spacer, record, spacer, record, spacer. So let me do that. We'll come back and we'll clean some records. So the capacity of the device is 1.6 liters, uh, excuse me, six liters, which is about 1.6 gallons. Now I've got a gallon of uh, distilled water and I've got another one over here. I'm gonna go ahead and fill the tank and then we'll talk about how it works and how it cleans. Well, you may not be able to say see, so I'll insert a photo. I've got, I filled the tank full of distilled water to just below the label, just into the run out groove. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of cleaner and that should take care of everything. So we're gonna go ahead and configure this, get it set up and we're gonna clean some records. Okay, I apologize for being out of shot, but I needed to see the front panel. So I've got it set for 37 degrees Celsius, which is about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The actual temperature of the water is 20 degrees, and you can set the temperature up, down, this way, and then you can turn the heater on. So we turn the heater on. The cycle you can set anywhere up to 30 minutes and seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and sit, leave it at the 30 minutes, and we're gonna go ahead and start the machine right now. You can hear it's not super loud. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the, the spinner, and we're cleaning records. So we're gonna let this run for the 30 minutes and we're gonna come back and we'll see how it did. These are old records, literally from the 60s, you know, secondhand, bargain bin, none of them have been cleaned. There's some great Frank Sinatra stuff there, Tony Bennett. I just wanna see how it's gonna turn out and see if they're usable, because I've not played them yet. So anyway, we've got 29 minutes and 30 seconds left. I'm gonna come back later. Well, I thought given the fact that it's so quiet, I'd talk a little bit about the device itself, and it's really interesting. So again, it's all made out of 304 stainless steel. The internal water tank is uh, 1.6 gallons or six liters. The ultrasonic frequency is 40,000 Hertz. Um, and I, th I think that's quite amazing. It's got 380 watt uh, transducers in it. Um, it is adjustable, obviously, for doing the records. You can do seven inch, you can do the 12 inch, you can do up to eight. I've got six in there now. It'll also clean your jewelry, your eyeglasses, all kinds of other stuff, you know, small components that might need to be cleaned. The control panel is really, really easy. You adjust the temperature, you can adjust the time. It shows the actual 
temperature what it's what it really is it, and obviously it's counting down from the 30 minutes i originally set it for so i think that's really really nice um you know it it is it is what it is it is an industrial cleaner first and foremost and they've been able to adapt it really really nicely to do the lps and i love the fact that it comes with a drying rack so many of the other systems don't come with a drying rack and you're left with trying to figure out something else so by the way inside the package it came obviously with the motor and the mount for the lp cleaning and the discs that keep the labels dry it came with the rack um, it also came with uh, a user's manual which isn't the best in the world didn't show you how to put together the drying rack i figured that one out on my own but it was pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. I was real impressed with the packaging. I'm real impressed with the build quality. I'm real impressed with the fact that it's not super loud. Some of these can be so annoyingly loud. And as I'm looking inside, I can see all kinds of stuff on the bottom of the tank. So it's, it's cleaning them. Once it's run its cycle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them dry. I'm going to cut away. I'm going to go listen to them. And I can't obviously do it with you guys because I'll get a copyright strike. Um, but I'll go ahead and listen to them. And then I'll report back my findings. But so far, I'm very impressed. And again, at $199, and it includes everything. And in the video description and in the pinned comment will be some links to additional discounts for you guys, for my viewers. I think it's a really neat product. And it's been something I've been thinking about for a long time. I've been using, you know, standard kind of cleaning carbon fiber brushes. I have a spin, one of the spin disc things. I can't think of the name of it now. Spin clean, spin clean. And it works okay. Um, but I don't think it's getting deep in. There's still some records, especially my old secondhand stuff, that I think this is just going to be an absolute joy to have. So anyway, we're going to wait for it to finish its cycle. We're going to let them dry, and then I'll play them and tell you what I think. Well, it's finished its cleaning cycle, and I'm going to go ahead and start taking the records out. The water is very warm. I set it for 100 degrees Fahrenheit. You can set it up to, I think, 40 degrees Celsius, which I think is like 140 degrees um, so quite warm, depending. I didn't want to go too hot because I was a little bit worried about distorting the vinyl or whatever. Because these records, these are some of these are really old. These are OG 60s releases from like Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, Gordon Jenkins, things like that. And I don't want to run the risk with them. Not that they're super valuable, but um, I'm a big Frank Sinatra fan. So there's a couple in there that I thought I wanted to make sure I took good care of. So we're going to take that out and I'm going to pull off the first one and bring it out, give it a shake, and put it in the drying rack. I like this drying rack, too. It's really nice. So we're going to let them sit and dry for a little while, and we'll come back. I'm going to play them, and I'll let you know what I think. So I got the records dried, cleaned. Um, I did put them on a turntable. I did um, you know, just give them a brush with a carbon fiber brush to make sure there was no static, and I was really, really surprised. Um, this is one, I love this album, Tony Bennett, I Left My Heart in San Francisco. This is an OG release from the early 60s, um, back when stereo was still a new thing. And other than obviously just some scratches from you know age and wear and stuff, the, the grooves, inside the grooves, it was very clean. It was very noiseless. Um, sounded really, really good. I was, I was completely impressed because when I'd listened to it about a month or so ago, I had to take it off. I was afraid I was going to damage my needle because of the, the amount of grit. So this Vivor ultrasonic cleaner did a great job. Same with Frank Sinatra, uh, The World We Knew, and same with Cycles, which I love this album. This is a great album. Sorry, I got it sideways. This is a great album. Gordon Jenkins, this is fun stuff. And again, more Gordon Jenkins. Um, just early stereo recordings, which I think are really fun. And I was very impressed with the Vivor Ultrasonic 6L Cleaner. Uh, it did a really, really good job. And I was a bit skeptical, honestly, because I'd had seen reviews of other ultrasonic cleaners that, you know, disappointed the reviewer. Um, I had a vacuum machine years ago, a nitty gritty, but it was horribly noisy and very difficult to use and a pain in the neck. This was simple, easy, boom. Uh, 30 minutes, I went and had a cup of coffee, came back, it was done, let them dry for a little while, and then put them on the record, uh, the turntable, and they sounded great. So I give this a good recommendation at $199. There'll be some discount codes in the video description and links to where to buy it. And if you are interested in one, I would appreciate if you did use this, the uh, affiliate link. Anyway, I'm very impressed. I, it was easy to use, simple, very well constructed, very quiet, everything I could ask for. And the, and the 
records were really clean when it was done. So it's really nice. Anyway, the Vivor Ultrasonic 6L Cleaner. Well, hopefully you liked the video and hopefully you'll be willing to give me a like and a subscribe. And if you wish to support the channel, there is a thank you button at the bottom of the video window. And if you'd like to join the channel, there'll be a link in the pinned comment and in the video description. In the video description, links for this, other uh, affiliate links from Amazon, um, my playlist. Please continue to share the playlist. Please check out the community posts with the playlist. Please comment. Let me know what you think. What do you do now to clean records? Um, how do you, are you satisfied with what you have? Do you have something you think is really good? Do you have a good formula? Do you have something you want to share? Put it in the comments. Um, I'd like to find out some other cleaning solutions. The stuff I've been using has been commercial grade. Like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram. This is Ed Holman, Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel, saying now it's time for you to go get some records out, clean them up real good, and sit back and listen to them and just relax for the rest of the day. Thanks so very much for your time. Have a wonderful day.